Hi, this is a Lucky44 tutorial video about ARMA2 files and file organization. Um, basically, this and this is oriented towards people who are downloading uh, multiplayer files and mods that other people have made and creating their own in the editor. ARMA2 is a wonderful uh, possesses a wonderful editor system and as long as you know the basics about where files want to be and uh, where it's looking for things you'll be uh, you have a foundation f to create a lot of cool stuff um, let's start with there are two two folders you need to know ones in the program files folder of your main drive and the other is in the documents or my documents folder depending on the version of Windows you're using uh, area of your main drive. I'm using Windows 7 uh, release candidate build 7100 for the geeks so that'll that might affect slightly how things look and what I've done is create two shortcuts on my desktop right here which I have renamed to program files ARMA2 and in that you'll see here it is. Uh, by the way, I'm running. Uh, I bought Arma 2 through Steam, so on my computer you'll see pr uh, computer local disk C program files Steam. If you had just bought the game directly and installed it via DVD or whatever, y I don't know if you'd see Arma 2 under program files or whether it would say Bohemia Interactive Studios or uh, something like that, but in my case I'm gonna see Steam and then within that I'll see Steam apps and within that I'm gonna find common and there I'll find the ARMA2 folder. This is my ARMA2 folder. Um, it's got add-ons which you might want to get into if you uh, download mod files. It's It does contain original um, files that came with the game as well as um, things that maybe you download and add in like that one is one that I downloaded and added and I've added these two one is a backup of all of these files and the other one is mods that I'm not using at the moment if you're joining uh, an online server it may check to see what add-ons you're running and some of them don't allow any or they don't allow certain ones so you want to back them you know move them into this a backup folder um, when you're doing something like that. Um, but to go back into the main ARMA2 My Documents I am in My Documents. No, I'm in the Program File, sorry, <coughs> folder. Um, in here I've got Multiplayer Missions and here are files which I've downloaded and uh, that was confusing. Uh, I was trying to do that. Files that I've downloaded and you'll see that they're in PBO format. PBO format is the format ARMA2 uses to pack uh, all of the files for a mission up into one single file. Um, you can get, that's handy for transporting them around. So you only have to install that one file. And you'll notice that, actually, if I look at the details of it, it would say, co underscore four underscore airport underscore sabotage underscore english ing dot chernarus which tells you that it's using the chernarus map and if i looked at the extension it would be dot pbo um, that's great it's nice and compact to use pbo files but if i want to get in and edit them or look at the scripts that they're used or see any of the files they're using i have to unpack that pbo format you can download a number of unpacking applications. I'm using the Arma UnPBO application, which I got from armaholic.com, where you can get a number of other tools. Um, but normally, uh, and I'm I'm not I'm focusing on multiplayer missions because I mostly play multiplayer missions. But if you want single player missions, then you'd be putting them in here if they were in the PBO format. So to sum that up your program files uh, folder is where you put PBO files to play 
um, that's probably well that's the only place that I really use it the other main folder that I use and which I use a lot is found in my documents let me show you how I navigate there uh, so I go to documents this is in Windows 7 again I think in uh, Vista or XP you'd go to the user name and then my documents within that but here I go to documents and then th the one I'm looking for is called other profiles I'm not sure why it says other profiles but it includes any profiles that I've used I think when playing or editing and lucky 44 is the main one that I use so within this I find uh, missions and multiplayer missions missions means single player and as well as the little information about my profile mostly I'm concerned with multiplayer missions because that's what I'm making um, I've made uh, just a couple little tests in the single player missions but let's look at multiplayer missions um, you'll see that the file names are uh, they always end in a these are I'm sorry these are folders not files and they end in the name of the map that they're made for so this one's on Chernarus and this one's on UTs um, the other thing that can freak you out at first is that you'll see if you have more than one word or to be explicit if you have a space in the name of the folder or mission name file you'll see percent 20 don't get worried about that that's just a lower level computer code for space so if you don't have a space in there you won't see that but if you have uh, like this mission is called a race 20 test 2 I'm sorry a race test 2 but it looks like a race a, a percent 20 race percent test 2 okay so that's the file organization that's where you'll find the folders that for missions that you've made and let me talk a bit about what you'll find in there let's try this one in a very simple uh, no that's not a very simple one uh, let's try this yeah in a simple mission you'll only find a mission file and that's got all the data for the mission including anything that you put in as well as all the basic uh, elements for units and anything on the map as well as waypoints and other parameters in this particular folder I've also got a description file uh, description.ext that sets parameters for the mission at startup uh, mainly I mean one of the most obvious ways that you use that is for setting up respawns let's look at something that's a little more where I've added a little more uh, this one this has a briefing file um, for, for I've used uh, briefing manager cool little app that helps you create briefings and use the map and tasks and uh, notes in the on the map description.ext file and init.sqf file sqf files are the standard code files for scripts that you or someone else has made um, init is another you can guess from the initialization name it, it's another script that fires at the beginning when you load the mission and sets up certain parameters you also see two other things repair one and repair two are little scripts that I created to use to do some repairs of vehicles in this mission in a more complicated mission you'll see a lot more scripts let's go to one that I downloaded you'll see more scripts and folders with further scripts things like that um, but that gives you the basic ideas let's see if there's anything I haven't covered I think that's about it uh, so get into the editor and enjoy this fantastic game have fun